This is obviously a liger, which is the largest. This is one of the largest ligers in the world, if not the largest. We're at Myrtle Beach Safari. Is this an incredible animal or what? And I just don't understand why people think that something that can happen, that does happen naturally, and can happen naturally, people freak out about. But I don't know, maybe they just freak out about because it's such an amazing animal. Look at this thing. The wow. biggest misconception is that there were never lions outside of Africa, but there are currently populations of lions living in Asia, right there in India in the Gear Forest, interacting with tigers today. So, so the point is, what do people on the internet, I wish they'd do some real research about genetics. Did you guys know that tigers and lions both have each other's genes in them? It's pretty amazing. And the most amazing part is this a liger, of course, when they breed. And Cody, tell them about how we're, we're they already overlap in the wild as it is, right? Yeah, we have the wild populations of lions living right now within the borders of Asia. They live in the Gear Forest in India. And those lions actually can share the same habitats as tigers in modern day. 16 countries historically had lions where they overlapped with tigers. So tigers have been a thing that's been around for thousands of years. Then when they rebred backwards with the tigers and the lions, those animals took on the genetic representation of the liger and would take the advantages of those genetics and those have carried on into the modern tigers and lions that we deal with today. 900 pounds of beast to roam around is pretty amazing. And when they get together, they make literally the combined weight of the lion and the tiger all in one animal when they breed together. And there's been stories for decades about giant brown beasts. And I don't know, but this is a giant brown beast. What do you guys think? <laughs> that he is. <laughs> he is a beast. He, he's just out for the night walk. And we're just taking a moment because, you know, everybody watches stuff on the internet all the time, but they never really do the research. They just follow the person's comment before. And you know what? There's a lot of facts out there. And you guys ought to learn more. There's, the gator's got his eyes. And uh, <clears throat> what an amazing animal. So anyway, don't be, be internet savvy. Be smart. Follow, follow some, find some facts about history. So I'm, I'm the big snake guy, <laughs> but this is incredible. Man, I just can barely believe that I'm even able to do this. And I really appreciate you, Cody, sharing me, sharing your, your living the dream life that you're doing here. Because I'm telling you, I do a lot of fun stuff, but this is absolutely incredible. And it's not something that anybody would just do this in my lifetime has been in animals. Cody's literally been dealing with big cats his whole entire life. And this is as big as they come, guys. <laughs> this guy is the biggest is the definitely a dream of an animal he oh seems like something out of a prehistoric a, magazine he is such a beautiful animal and such a mascot for all animals and why we should love him take care of him and only never just protect everything in the wild that you possibly can just so amazing